Hi, I'm Kelsey Collins and welcome to Coffee Walk. So he's so excited about it, he wouldn't even let me pull it out. <laughs> So we're at DFW heading to Detroit again. We sure are. And then from there, we're going to go to Oxford, Michigan. One of our favorite places, Turnkey my, Automotive. My personal favorite. What happens at Turnkey Automotive? I think I'm getting my NHRA license. Oh, I thought that was supposed to be a secret. It's not a secret. That first time was a secret. It was a real secret. Um, the car was, but um, this is a secret. It's a big deal. So she's going to go back to Copo. Rich Rinky himself, who's one of the top drivers of Copos, and actually the man that runs the plant, the most knowledgeable guy in all things Copo. Kelsey's car's back up there because they wanted to do some telemetry checks on the motor, because it is, in fact, the first 572 to be put in a Copo. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing, isn't it? Well, and there's a lot to learn about that car, so it's really cool to be going back up, up there and learn everything about the car from the guy that built the car. It was actually proud because you did go through a full set of tires. I did. So it's got new fluids. I, I love the brakes. I'm going to the brakes. <laughs> no, I said the brakes are okay. Okay. Well, so it's got a new set of hoops, right, new so fluids, good. test in tune, ready to go. And then we're going to go to an NHRA certified track with Chevrolet, Copo, and Turnkey so you can get your license. I think this is going to be a cool coffee box. So grab your cup of joe and let's go. So are y'all ready to go fast and have fun? I'm ready. So this is the first time in quite a while we've done a coffee walk where it wasn't over 100 degrees. <laughs> it was incredible outside. It's 65 degrees, we're in Auburn, Michigan. It's gonna be a great day. We had the NHRA certified drag strip to get this one NHRA certified in Copo Serial number one. Woo! And if we have some extra time and she gets certified, Maybe you guys can make some passes. I hope that happens. He's smiling. Really fun day. <laughs> so y'all grab your cup of joe and let's go drag racing. So from what I understand, there's gonna be two or three Copos heading out to the track for testing too. Awesome. Yours being one of them. Here we go. Uh, I just hit him right. I always do that. Whenever one of my kids are hurt, wherever it is, like Kelsey's hurt, they'll be. They always find the bad spot. <laughs> they, uh, no, we just uh, put that 302 together, refreshed his motor. He oh, just wanted wow. the US Nationals with the, really? the 302 that we added. In it, so. That's fantastic. So, how many cars are going out? Uh, just three of us. I, I just put a fresh motor, a 402, in my car last night. That's and then, uh, and then uh, That's real drag racing. You always do it the night before. Yeah, well, we were testing. Never the week before, we were, always we, the night before. We, well, we were at the track on Monday, testing all that. Okay. And then we came back and said, you know, we got another combo we want to try. So, I figured we're going to track with you. I'm in. Why not? But you're going to get training like you've never had before. I can't wait. I want to know a, everything and very, I'm going to ask all the questions. This is a very disciplined process and you're going to find out that, that when you put all the pieces together, mm -hmm. it works. So well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay out of the middle of that. You're in charge. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> say this, I'll say this much. I can say with pride uh -huh. that every person I trained and every person that raced won a Wally. Woo. Let's go. That's huge. Okay, but it took forty. I should be able to accomplish it, took, it took him forty years to get it. Hey. <laughs> I'm joking. She's got plenty of time. I got time. Go, yeah, I got time. All right, let me get him loaded. Okay. <laughs> the Jeep. That's right. So ever since I've known Dennis, and he knows my dad was a Jeep dealer, 
a lot of phone calls back and forth on special Jeeps and everything. How is it that my dad, my family, is probably one of the largest Jeep dealers in the country? I go to this guy to get a Jeep. <laughs> it's because what you're asking for is, what you're asking for is impossible. What I was asking for was, no, but we said, you know, patience, yep. this guy can find it. He's so he, had it on his whiteboard for a very long time. And if it lands <laughs> on the whiteboard, it may be years, but he... Yeah, no, it, 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 you know, it's easier that way if you're relaxed and you take your time. Yeah, I pitched you a cup. You're like, no, no, oh, you no. Me, you because this up. is what you I want. This is what I want. And finally, me up and now we did have to. Uh, the stars aligned. We had to take a base model and turn it into a Golden Eagle. But what he wanted was a factory white CJ7, rust free, short miles. Well, so that narrows it down to about 10 in the country. And he wanted a Golden Eagle with a V8 in it, which narrows it down to about two. <laughs> so. I gave him everything but the V8, so that's no, on you. you. It's, Dennis, I so appreciate Morning, Alex. How are you, sir? Morning, morning, morning buddy. All right, let's get this out so Rich can see it, because he hasn't seen yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Let's see. Yeah, we're out of time for a new turn. Or a redo. Yeah. So he's so excited about it, he wouldn't even let me pull it out. <laughs> So, one owner from new on the original Texas title with 19,578 actual miles, not 119. NOS, look at that steering wheel. You know how hard that is to find? I know, I know. There's no uh, rattlesnakes in here, is there? No, no rattlesnakes. That would be <laughs> this is very cool. So, the paint on the Jeep is about 95%. We did the one I, touch I up on the light truck fender that I showed you. I can't believe it. So, this is all original paint. No rust in the floors, no rust in the trucks. We did a, a small blend right here. I mean, there's no rust in it at all. None. I love it. You know, I, I know you want to put a V8 in it, hopefully like a 390 Crossham, but I think it's it's kind of a hoop to drive like it is. I, 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 you know, as long as it's not on the highway. As, as I get older and wiser, I go, leave it alone. <laughs> well, I'm going to... Take it, take it for a little. You gotta load your car and get rolling. <laughs> drag strip with a license plate. <laughs> right there is perfect. It's up to Alex. <laughs> uh, keep going with the strap on. We're going to the drag strip. No, but which one? We're going to go fast. We're going to Mid Michigan Motorplex. We do most of our testing there. We were just there on Monday. It's a pretty good track. It's an NHRA track. That's where we do our training. Um, great guy, Mike Ledford, runs with Ledford family's had it for years. You'll see. It's going to be a great day to go fast. All new, all new paved staging lanes. Track is uh, about as good as it gets. How so, you feeling, Kels? Oh, good. Did you miss your car? I missed my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to have a good day. I'm excited. I think you'll I'll walk away with, I think you'll walk with a, away with a sense of, of uh, understanding the sequence in which we go about doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people don't believe is, is that stage like one gets you to stage two, stage three gets you to stage four, and if you jump from one to four, it all goes to hell. Yeah. And it's going to be everything from how to warm up the car, how to take the car out and do a little test run with it, how to get up to the, to the starting line, how to do burnouts perfectly. Which is basically scrubbing the tires, putting some heat in them. I got them how to stage like you lock it perfectly. Okay. We're actually going to walk the line, further, and we're going to and we're going to take a tire and we're going to roll it through the through the beam so you can see what the effect is. Because in your head, you're you're, you're staging, but you don't know where that tire is in that beam. We're going to grasp that last time. We're going to we're going to break it. We're going to break. We're going to break it down to stages. And then once you do a run, when you come back, the routine of 
of you doing this, not your crew, but your crew has to be able to do it with you. You get out of the car, first thing you do is you pop the hood, it gets opened up, you leave your fans on, your pump on, you go to the back of the car, you open the trunk up, you immediately put the charger on, why? Because you got your fans and your pump running, cooling the car down. While that's getting done, you take a look around the car, make sure everything's fine, let the car cool down. The charger's running, once the temperature comes down, 100 degrees, shut everything off, let the charger go up to 13 volts, and chill until you do your next run. Just before you go back for your next run, first thing you do is you look at your tire, tire pressures. 19.5 in the rear, 34 in front. Get yourself situated in the car, make sure everything's there, your helmet, your jacket, you're ready to go. Top off your fuel. Head out. Jack, did you get that? Because I'm going to need a copy And you'll see. And, you know, it, 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 it has to come as a routine. It has to come as a routine. So. Incredible weather for racing today, too. Yeah, they, they heard, we heard there could be a sprinkle in the morning, but no issues the rest of the day. So, walk me through again. I'm in the car. I, I coming out of the pits. I see the lines. I line my car up perfectly straight. I roll through the water. I'm in second gear when I'm rolling through the water. I'm pumping my brake as I'm rolling through the water. Four or five feet out of the water, I put my foot on the brake, hold my line, hold my line lock, release my foot brake, 5,500, 6,000. As soon as I see smoke, I am coming out of the burnout, so I start feathering the button and then I bring the car to a stop, put the car back in first, and take my time to get up. Tire pressure. Are we supposed specifically 19.5, not 19.2, not 19.5. 19.5. See the bathroom right there, that, that metal line? Ah, okay. That's the B thing. That's the B thing. I just turn this until it sits down in there. Lock it. in my nose. <laughs> it was awesome. It's a very different feel though in the passenger seat versus driving the car. You know it's coming but like it definitely hits harder. So here we are at Mid Michigan Motorplex. Kelsey's still in the process of taking some lessons from Mr. Rich Rinky. We just saw him do a massive wheelie in a white Copo. The 2019 Copo 50 which is 50th anniversary car which is also a 50302 car was set up in the lanes to run started raining. So, you know how big of a delay we're going to have? We're going to find out. We'll see you in a little bit. Incredible right. weather for racing today, too.
sun is out. It's gonna dry quick. Better get your race suit on. What are you doing? Listen to my coach. Listen to your coach, Coach Rinky. Coach Rinky. <laughs> when was the last time you had an official coach? A long time. Volleyball uh, in high school, probably. So, as far as drivers on um, road course, Stuart Singer's one of the best in the world. That's who taught Kelsey for one lap. And now we've got Rich, Rich Rinky. Rinky. Not bad. Not a bad lineup. Uh, I think that there's not a better guy in the world that can teach you how to run this combo. Come on, son. It's going to dry wow, and you're going to go. See that? This is the last Dry and quick. We got Lay's and Jersey Mike's for lunch. Veggie, oh, no. says Veggie. So what that? Number nine. Number 13. I don't know what that is with my lucky number, so I'm having a number 13 Jersey Mike's for lunch. Let's see what we got. Kelsey, I'm having number 13 since they're family lucky number. You know what it is? I have no idea. It's a mystery set there. That's what I'm having. It looks like a sub sandwich. Let's see what it tastes like. A sub sandwich. Let's see what you get. A sandwich. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. A number 13. I don't know, I'm starving, so it's gonna be fantastic, whatever it is. And that was the 2019 Copo 50, also 50th anniversary of edition of Copo, 302 powered, small block unbelievable car it's a crc car which means it's a certified race chassis that it didn't leave the factory with a drivetrain in it so he put his own powertrain in it but amazing what a 302 car will run that hard very cool Remember to shift and stop the car. When you get across the finish line, don't slam on the brakes. Just okay. ease up on the gas pedal okay. and then brake. Because okay. if you do this, you let up on the gas, the car tips over too much. So just 
ease up easy, not all at once. Don't go lift your foot off the pedal. Oh, ease off the gas. Ease off the gas. Okay. But remember, you only got so much track left, so slow the car yeah. down. Get that car slowed down. Okay. Okay? I'm not telling you to lock them up. I'm just saying, look at the what left distance you got left. Get that car slowed down so you got a football field left. Okay. Um, let me think about something. Your burnout's great. Just maybe a little bit longer. Little Your bit staging longer. is perfectly done. Your lineup is perfect. Just remember to shift. I need to remember to shift, and I I, and I know here. I'm not giving it all. I'd... I kick it up on ice and high like this, okay. and I commit myself. Got it. Kelsey, I'm only asking you for two things. Okay. You. One hand on the wheel, one hand down on the shifter. I can't use my second hand until I'm in third gear. I, I want to, I would just want to go once. I want to go once of getting my whole sequence and right. The and the car gets pissed off when you back off. You gotta, you gotta stay there and just wait for it to go ring, bang. Check the tire shift. Right. I want you to go all the way down, ring, bang. Don't forget that. Okay. Let's go. Right here? Yeah, the middle. Bingo. And I mean, still, Everyone's gotten better.
and break into it, settle down for a second. And then I want you to start pumping into the brakes and then holding it down hard until it stops. Use See, the rest I of the- I felt a little squirrel on that one when I was braking the second time and, and it like- Well, you never have to lock them up. You just have to use the track to stop. You're letting so much track go by before you even stop the car. Okay. So, but I think the thing was, is you knowing where the finish line was, was one of those deals where you ease off the gas pedal and start braking, take mm -hmm. it easy, and then you say, okay, I got this much, I'm gonna use the brakes to stop this car. But it's not about violent braking, but get it settled down. Do you need to go see the finish line again? Yeah, he's gonna take gonna, a run, run and then... I know that sounds so... That was wheelie cool. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> so the first three passes, Kelsey has been instructed not to run it as hard as she possibly can. They want her to get down on the track safely, make sure she's doing all the functions properly. However, all three passes she's increased, so our first quarter mile time is 11.21 at 127.42 miles an hour. Second pass at 10.96, 129.38. Their third pass at 10.892 at 131.29 miles an hour. So much fun. Alex, congratulations, you are in the Tins Club. Hell yeah. Good job. Thank you. That's awesome. 10, 9, 9, 2. two. Outstanding. It's not every day you do a wheelie in a car, at least a couple times a year. So you're saying it's a uh, wheelie cool? It is wheelie cool. Did you have fun? I did. First time wheelie? <laughs> oh yeah. First time I drive a car in 10 second range? Yep. Congratulations, Alex. So I'd say overall today was a great day. Mr. Rich Rinky, best teacher in the world. Yes, he is. Arguably one of the coolest Copo Camaros in the world, seal number one. Kelsey got some more track time down on her way to her NHRA record now. All we gotta do is load up and go eat. Sorry guys, we ran out of time. We didn't go eat. I'm actually back at CBG 
You know what to do. Please like, tag, share, and follow. But most of all, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free and it's easy. And remember the Holy Grail Blend Coffee. Have a great day. We'll see you next week.